Good evening. I'm Crystal Hawk with Newport Nightly News. Our first story tonight, dissolved oxygen. Just how low can it go? Here's Jessica Whaley at the Oregon Coast Aquarium to tell you more. Hypoxia is commonly known as dead zones. There are two different types of dead zones. One is created by human influences and another is created naturally. Now we will be going to Waldo Wakefield for more information. So there are areas where you can have anthropogenic uh, or, or human caused uh, hypoxic areas or low oxygen areas and in other areas they can be just part of the, the, the natural occurring uh, ecosystem. And it's, it's just not, we're not, we don't have enough information, I feel yet, to, to really, um, really be able to say whether or not there's a, there's a link between the hypoxic um, events that are happening and climate change, although it's important that we be studying that. Um. Thank you, Jessica. In related news, ocean acidification, what's in your water? Here's Daniel Pearson at the Oregon Oyster Farm for more information. Ocean acidification is the process of carbon dioxide combining with water to form carbonic acid. This has been happening more and more in recent years due to increased carbon dioxide emissions from cars and major industries. Now we are going to go talk to some experts in the field to find out more. These organisms that are calcifying like um, oysters and clams and lobsters uh, and crabs, these organisms require um, calcium carbonate to be deposited in the uh, shell or the exoskeleton of the animal. And the problem is that as we increase the acidity of the seawater, so the concentration of carbonate declines. And so it's harder and harder for these animals to uh, build their shells and build their exoskeletons. The process is occurring so rapidly we're going to see a, a, a lot of changes. Unfortunately, we, we don't know enough about the physiology of these many of these animals to be able to predict when the tipping points are. Yeah. I'm here in Newport, Oregon, where a group of teens has been dancing all across the county to spread the news about ocean acidification and hypoxia here on the Oregon coast. Crabby little friend, and crabby does it all your best. 